UT Southwestern will have to pay a four and a half million dollar fine for failing to properly secure its painkillers. The Justice Department says lax oversight allowed employees to steal and abuse those drugs. Malini Basu has been working the story all afternoon. She's live in our newsroom. Uh, Malini, what, what, what have you learned? Yeah, you know, I spoke with the DEA, Chris, a short time ago. They tell me by law that pills have to be logged and written down each time they're given out to someone. But the Department of Justice says over a five year time frame, UT Southwestern violated that law and sadly, two nurses died after getting access to those pills and overdosing. So the DOJ tells us in 2016, a registered nurse died after getting a hold of fentanyl from Clements University Hospital. She was later found dead in a hospital bathroom. Then in 2018, another nurse at the same hospital overdosed on opioids. She was also found dead in another bathroom. The DOJ and the DEA investigation was sparked by the Dallas Morning News. Now, their report trigger, triggered a federal hospital investigation. Now, authorities say the hospital failed to record the theft and significant loss of the drugs. Control substances uh, were unaccounted for when it came to whether it was a waste, a loss, or in this particular case, you know, potential theft or, or skimming off the top. You know, so in this uh, particular occasion, we initiated that inspection of the hospital and then not having um, clear record keeping when it came to where these substances were going. Now, UT Southwestern released a statement saying in part, quote, after losing these two members of our campus community, UT Southwestern engaged outside consultants to help review UT Southwestern policies and practices. And it became clear that we had not fully complied with our record keeping and also reporting obligations in dispensing opioid medication. Now, the hospital says it's hired additional staffing, invested in new technology and software, along with other measures like keeping lockboxes now. Now UT Southwestern also formed a controlled substance investigative team and they've installed cameras to make sure that pills are going where they should be. For now, we are live in the newsroom. I'm Malini Basu.